Hey folks, this is Shane. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Today we're going to go over my kit that I have set up for winter QRP work here. And why did I say work? It ain't work. We're going to go over the kit I have set up for QRP portable radio in the wintertime here in northern Wisconsin, whether I'm doing a hike in parks on the air or a summits on the air activation. So stick around and we'll dive into it. Time parks on the air, summits on the air, hike in QRP operations. I've come up for my uses this little chest rig right here. Now you may remember this as the pack that I had to accompany my 705 in the summer. I've replaced that with a little smaller pack so I could repurpose this because when I open it up, you see that the Yesu FT818 fits perfectly in this thing. So that is let me quick zip up here. So the 818 is the radio that this kit is based around. Uh, I've done a few videos on this, you'll see it more often. This is a great rugged radio for uh, less than ideal environments when you want to play a radio. The rest of the kit, you can see a few things that drop off. Is I got something loosely in the bottom, a power cable with uh, Anderson power poles on each side and a fuse block in the center, just to be safe. It's a small bungee cord for lashing things down. Then on the other side, I have a BioWeno 3 amp hour battery that I added a little Velcro tape to the back side of it, which I just super glued on. It'll stick right onto the lining of this uh, chest rig. On the other side, You'll see I got the same thing going on here. And I'll peel it off. As you can see, it sticks on pretty good. This is a little organizer pouch from Maxpedition. Velcro on the back side. And it's got a mesh, almost see-through pouch that expands out. And a zipper down the center. What I like about this is that it fits perfectly on half of this pack. So it, it just almost like it was made for it. Now when I open it up, you'll see got a little bit of a mess, but that's all right. I have my Pactena NFID half wave linked uh, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. Very nice antenna, super versatile, my go-to. The microphone for the 818. A one to one choke, also from Pactena. Then two lengths of 316 coax BNC connectors. Speaking of BNC, both the choke and the antenna from Pactena have BNC connectors. And then I run it all through the front antenna port of the 818, which is also BNC. So no adapters needed, everything is BNC the way it should be. So by streamlining my QRP radio kit to be pretty basic, and organizing it the way I do, it fits nicely in this small compact chest rig, which frees up my back to have whatever I want for a backpack, depending on what I'm doing. If it's just a simple hiking activation for a day, I can have some extra clothes, hiking essentials, maybe a meal, or if I'm going to go on an extended multi-day backpacking trip, I can scale up my pack and not worry about uh, forgetting anything for the radio. And of course, there's always room for some extra radio gear so I can augment this with more antennas, bigger battery, what have you. Again, depends on what I'm doing. Now, totally unrelated to the rest of this video, and I know I've mentioned it before, but one of my favorite hacks for hiking and backpacking is carrying a small piece of Tyvax with you. You can buy this by a roll at any home improvement store. Cut off a small piece that you need, weighs next to nothing, takes up a little space and it keeps your gear organized and dry. So there you go, free hiking tip. All right, folks, so there you go, short and sweet. Just a quick overview of how I got the 818 set up in that chest pack. 
I really like this concept. Everything I need is in one compact space. Grab and go, and then I can take whatever backpack or no backpack with me, depending on what I'm doing. And I can scale it up with other radio gear in a separate pack. So, so I hope you like it. Uh, if you want to follow the link down below, you go to the Buy Me A Coffee blog post that accompanies this. I'll have some more pictures, links to where I got everything, all that kind of stuff. And if there's anything in here that you think I shouldn't have or something that's missing, let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to ideas to make my kits a little better. Till next time, catch you later. 73.